Welcome to Europe. The year was 526 AD, approximately 50 years since the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, conquered by the barbarians and the Huns, split into many uh, tribal kingdoms. The Visigoth Kingdom in Spain, the Ostrogoth Kingdom in Italy, the Lombards to the east, the Frankish Kingdom and the Celtic lands to the north. This was the period known as the early Middle Ages of Europe, or more generally, Medieval Europe. The aftermath of a civilization that ruled nearly for a thousand years. During the Middle Ages, life expectancy was between 30 and 40 years old. People expected not to live very long, or they simply expected to live to that time. Due to the lack of medical advances, things like bubonic plagues and tuberculosis and could not be combated, so people suffered and perished. But what struck me, looking into the history of it, due to the lack of material wealth that many of the medieval peasants suffered from, they had a rich spiritual wealth. They had the comfort and faith of a strong belief in the afterlife and that their loved ones and lost ones were going to that place. And we're almost in a reverse situation today that we have a lot of material wealth but a lack of spiritual wealth. And what was stronger in the Middle Ages was pilgrimages. There was loads of pilgrimages that you had to go on to give your life some purpose and most of them were the religious pilgrimages that went on to Rome, uh, to Camino de Santiago and sometimes you never came back but you did it because you loved your Heavenly Father and you believed with all your heart and soul that even though you wouldn't come back you would be in the afterlife and that there's a richness to that that seems very very endearing it, we see it in the scene in Braveheart where Mirren asks William if he, where has he been and then he says he's been on a pilgrimage to Rome and her face is just so full of wonderment because during the medieval days that's what you did you went on pilgrimages to Rome and what happened after the collapse of Rome, during the Middle Ages, people had to start gathering knowledge again, writing, putting all the lost information together. And you had the period of scholasticism that developed, which was a Aristotelian thought and Christian faith mixed together. This was 
taught in the universities in the Middle Ages. The universities were started about 1000 AD. So this would have been at the end of the, the early Middle Ages and the middle of the medieval period. And what was important to them was honour. There was a integrity to life. You had the development of the code of code of chivalry, excuse me, which was a way of living your life with honour and virtue. Even if it meant your death. Because that's what was important. And a lot of the the knights that lived then helped shape the medieval period and the thought of how people should live. the courtship it was a period of wonderment mystical tales almost seems like a forgotten world now